How's it going everybody? Josh KI6NAZ. Today we're going to do something a little bit different with the Willet antenna. Before you've seen me make antennas out of odd things, today I'm not going to be making an antenna out of a Dollar Tree, but we're going to be going into a Dollar Tree to find things that we may be able to make an antenna out of. So let's get started. Let's see what's going on in this Dollar Tree. See if we can make anything awesome. So an obvious win here would be if I could find some wire. That would be fantastic. That would be easy to make an antenna out of. So we're going to go straight to the automotive and see. So no automotive wire, but they have floral wire, 50 feet each, so there's two bundles of 50 feet. I'm getting an idea. And I've got six, six, oh four, sorry, seven. So the reality of this one is, I don't think I have enough balloons. But they said they are open on Sundays, which is when I plan to do this video. So, let's come back and get more balloons. They're a buck a piece. That works for me. So I'm probably gonna regret this, but uh, what the hell, right? <laughs> So my game plan here couldn't be simpler. I'm just gonna take this floral wire and I'm gonna tie, I've already got one of them here. I've got it tied to these balloons and it's just uh, it's just hanging out right here. So that's seven balloons holding this up. So I figured I'm gonna add seven more balloons to this and we're gonna hoist this wire up, use the ICOM tuner. You're gonna use the other wire as a radial. Actually, I'm probably gonna connect it to a water pipe that's outside. And that should take care of the static that could build up uh, when you have wind blowing across a line like this, it's just floating in the air. Let's get this outside and give it a shot. All right, we got all your favorites. The happy birthday balloon, uh, the smiley face balloon. My favorite is princess. I think that's gonna be a winner. Let's get it up in the air. Ooh. So I'm gonna attach my wire. Ooh, there's more wind than I thought. This might not be a good idea. <laughs> what if it doesn't work? Then I'll be sad. What if what doesn't come? What eagle? What if what doesn't come back? What, I'm not, oh, I'm not flying a radio today. That's probably a video for another time. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Get down. There we go. <laughs> it's not gonna work. This is not the weirdest thing I've ever done. Oh no, this is not gonna work. Edison, don't, don't, don't. Oh, this wire is the worst. All right, I gotta, I gotta regroup this here. We gotta regroup. I gotta untangle this wire. <laughs> okay, 
I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. Uh, I've got the wire connected to the tuner and I've got it spooled up here. No. <laughs> It's just not enough balloons. Well, there's a lot of wind right now, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, that's not good. Bit of a catch up is gonna be needed here. Um, when I first started shooting in the front yard with the party balloons, the wind was just too much. And so I, I put all my eggs in, in one basket buying balloons and they over time started to deflate. So, with, from a recommendation of Leia, I bought a helium tank and a balloon. And the thought was, wait for a, a still day and then go out and try this all again. Well, it's been like over a month now since I first started going down this road. So this is actually taking a long time to get this video out. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope it's um, fun and interesting, maybe, hopefully. So, you know, if you could, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate it. Hit that bell and click all, you know, so you know when I go live and all that. Just wanted to catch everybody up because we're, we're going to do a big uh, jump here to the backyard and a whole new balloon system. I do want to mention something because this was a part of my trials and tribulations of making this work. The first balloon I picked up was a 72 inch latex balloon. Um, <laughs> I thought this would be great. You know, fill it up with the helium, have some fun, have some laughs. I didn't realize, and I, and I learned after I bought it, um, the volume inside of this balloon that they asked for, for kind of peak balloon performance, 115 cubic feet of helium. This tank holds 15 feet of helium. So this is an, an astronomical amount of helium to make this, you know, inflate the way it, it's requesting. But the 36 inch balloon, 36 inch, right? You can see the difference here between these balloons. The 36 inch balloon, only 15 cubic feet. So we're going with the 36. The helium tank is full of helium and it uses this valve on the top. Okay. And then the trick here is the opening of this. Yeah, the, t the, trip, the, the trouble with this is this nozzle here is, is pretty small. So I've got to have to Wrap, wrap it yeah, but in, in my hand, I'm gonna have to hold it. So it's kind of a weird solution. Yeah, we'll see. Ah, <laughs> oh, and it popped. Great. Okay, so. I guess you could put that one. Probably. No, can't. Uh, I need a, my spare, my other spare. Okay, let's try this again. Um, I think what happened was the nozzle tip was getting too close to the the hole there while I was holding it. So I'm gonna try and pinch that off there, like so. And then we're gonna, there we go. That's much better. I think we know what the squealing was from. It was from the plastic, the latex being binded. This should get us 36 inches. Probably more. No, th this is gonna be 36 inches around when we're done. That's pretty big. That is very big. I'm looking big. at the tip here to kind of show me if it's getting overfilled or not. And I'm feeling for any losses out the back by the nozzle. That is huge. It is getting very big. There's still a bump. What do you think? Is that close to 36 inches? Do you know how to measure it in your head? Can you figure it out in your head? Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, we're getting pretty close. I'm going to stop it here. That's it. There. Okay. I've decided. Whoa. Okay. So a decent amount of lift. Let's get a real good That's knot on here. 
I felt a lot of pull. No thrust? No, it's just, it's lighter than air, right? Yeah. So if, so if our atmosphere is all air, sliding. yeah, that's got a lot of lift to it. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna tie. Could it make me fly out? No, we would need a lot more to make you fly. I'm gonna tie a little hitch right here, and that's what I'm gonna attach the antenna line to. Woo! Okay. That's much better though. Should have just started with that instead of pretty party balloons. Okay, well that's not, hmm. Too bad. This is the radio wire that I think I'm on actually. All right, well, back down to earth. Die. I'm glad I didn't tie, like twist the, uh, the wire too strong here. So this is the wire that's gonna go to the water pipe uh, to disperse static. So we need to get that. Can you hold this, Ben, actually? and then walk that way slowly. Go ahead, walk that way across the lawn and don't get your feet all caught up in the wire. There you go. Well, I don't know if it's brilliant. We'll see if it works. I don't know if it's a good idea either. <laughs> ah, it's windy, but you know what? This balloon is handling it a bit better than than the massive uh, mylar balloons. That balloon looks as big as that balloon. This balloon. Hmm. This balloon what happened here? This is also not a very long wire. I'm confused. Where did our wire go? Well, okay. Now I'm going to have to find my other package of floral wire, I think. We want the full length. Uh, as you can see, it's a little sad. <laughs> and there's the line going along the roof to this tree or this chair. Uh, not great, but it does correct itself occasionally. If you get a still moment, it'll, it'll work really well. There we go. There's always just a little bit of wind in Southern California. So I don't know that we're really going to free ourselves of that. Anyway, here's the uh, connector for the AH705. Whew. It's all wrapped up. <laughs> the step IR. <laughs> It's doing a really good job of tying up the balloons. So even if uh, the, the line did break, I'm sure the step IR has probably got a good handle on them. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then we had our wire from uh, earlier. The wire from earlier is, had the enamel stripped off. Okay, so this guy, I'm gonna take over here to the water um, spigot, water spout. Okay, we've got a bit of a static bleeder now. Balloons are, all kinds in a bad situation here. I don't know there's much I can do about that. I may just have to let them sort themselves out. Ooh, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Come on. Whatever, man, let's give it a shot. <laughs> I am, however, going to set up my 705, and I'm gonna be ready. I may pull the balloon back down and put it in a docked state somewhere just a little bit of, off the ground because uh, it's, it's really chaotic right now. The wind is pretty crazy. So I'm hoping, uh, usually what happens here is it calms down around dusk is when everything calms down. So I may have to come back out and make some contacts at night. That may be better anyway, because this is probably gonna work okay on 40 meters and 80. How it is right now, I'd consider it probably the worst case scenario. It's, it's slightly cocked uh, on one of the step IR elements, I'll show you in a second. And we're tuning just fine, so I think we're gonna be okay. This is on 20 meters. We'll, we'll try here on 80 and 42 as well, and maybe go up the bands a little bit. It is seeing um, activity though, which is pretty great. All right, I had to dock my antenna system for a little bit. It is a little too windy, so I'm gonna give it 30 minutes or so, and then we're gonna try again. Uh, some of you might be thinking to yourself, why is he like doing the video while he's got his AirPods in? Uh, I normally don't do that, but this weekend's kind of special. We just finished the YouTubers Ham Fest. In case you missed it, the link will be in the description to the playlist. I did four videos over the course of the weekend. There's over 43, 45 videos that were produced, both live stream and premieres. Fantastic time. Take the link, go check it out, because I'm catching up on all the stuff I, I didn't uh, watch live, and I realized I had it in, and I thought I would explain. So yeah, go check it out. Thanks. For reference, look, see the trees are all still. I look towards the tall ones over there. Nice and still. And that tells me if I'm gonna be able to put the antenna up or not, or the balloons here. 
And so it all starts out good, everything's still, and then I put it up and it just goes nuts. And what happens is it gets uh, caught on the elements of the step IR and the vertical there. <laughs> it just becomes a big mess. All right, we've got another break in the wind. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's always good for like five minutes and then it starts kicking up again. Yeah, there it is. Never mind. There is a bird trying to dive bomb my dog. This is hilarious. We're trying this again, the wind has died down. It's actually changed directions a little bit. Maybe that'll help. I'm get, I've got a, a HP1RY, negative two to me, picking me up negative 17. I, I, it's not a completed QSO, but what? <laughs> I'm on 15 meters right now. Oh, I hope we can complete this contact. If we can complete this contact, I'm way more confident. It, the wind has died down a bit. <gasps> RR73! <laughs> yes! Yes! Yet, yeah. also, 15 is extremely quiet right now. Uh, fantastic. Wow. Okay. I'm curious what I'm being, like, I'm gonna pull up PSK Reporter, I'll show some pictures so you can see. This is awesome. I, I, I gotta say, I, I'm actually, um, I'm, very, I'm very happy about that, this actually. That was Panama. I'm seeing Venezuela, Argentina, and Ecuador. The opening is, is down south, it looks like. But, wow, so now I'm trying Argentina. This is gonna be a stretch. But he's negative four to me, so, wow. Okay, let's hope, right? Uh, you can see the uh, Step IR is doing a great job of getting in the way. Remember, I do have the elements withdrawn. So there is no metal in the, in the poles there. So they're completely out of the way. But it has seemed to have gotten itself between the two elements, which is not fantastic, but you know, whatever, we'll work with it. So I'm picking up DX now with this. Germany, France. France is coming in at a negative 13. NP4B from Arecibo is transmitting from Puerto Rico. Uh, man, I'm picking up all kinds of stations right now. It's crazy. All right, we jumped over to 40. Seemed to tune up okay. I hear a station, only one station on 40 right now, and it is 4.30 p.m. my time. KF7VAW. He was calling CQ. Strong station, a uh, number four to me, 4DB. I stepped away for a second, and uh, I had already called KF7VAW. He came back to me, negative 19 to me. He's a plus seven. I'll take it. And uh, yeah, 40 meters. So I've got contacts now on 15, 20, and 17, or in 40. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right, uh, let, let's, uh-oh, <laughs> we just lost. We lost, oh no, <laughs> something bad's happening. Uh-oh, okay, so we're only riding on the antenna wire. Hasn't been uh, that long since I came out here again. <clears throat> it's starting to turn dusk. Noise floors dropped out, but I'm still pulling this signal out from North Carolina. Let's see if I can get them. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Kilo, India 6, November, Alpha, Zulu. Okay, November, Sugar 7, Hotel. Good evening, sir. This is Kilo, Charlie T. Not making it. I don't know. That, it gets this information. Uh, my law book gets this information but from But great QR signals coming in. You know, while we're here, um, let, me, let me just show you the uh, how we're doing on 40. Tuning it up. Woo! Massive noise. Look at that. That was an interesting QSO. Talking about a guy who killed his wife. Jesus. Oh my goodness. What did I tune into? And it was along the Colorado River up there, and it was, it was just a bunch of bones, I guess. But he, uh, he's in prison right now. Holy right? smokes. 
QSL, this is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Do you copy? November Alpha Zulu, I think it is. November Alpha Zulu, over. Uh, yes, QSL, QSL. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu in Southern California. The wind kicked up, of course, right when I'm trying to make this contact. Uh, QSL, I got you at about a 5.9. This is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. QSL? Okay, Kilowatt India something. Uh, Kilowatt India, November Alpha Zulu. Uh, give me the prefix, over. Uh, Kilo India 6, 6, 6 land, 6 land. California, California. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Understand. Thank you for the uh, attempt. To. It's a Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. I'll try again later if conditions improve. Well, that was the closest we've got so far. Um, maybe it's 20 meters. 40 meters is a little bit better, I noticed. So um, let's hopefully the wind goes back to where it was, too. Let's get tune off the frequency a little bit. I think somebody's there. Well. <laughs> We're getting real adventurous here now. We're gonna try and uh, get up on 80. Let's see what we do here. Okay, no problem on 80. It's like like bordering on 30 over S9. Okay, thanks. And, uh, back to you, it's always like rag shoes. Let's uh let's start tuning up on 180 or 160. Um Will it tune? It did. All right. Well, the wind's kicked back up. And at this point, I've had to put a light on. It's fully dark, it's 9 p.m. I wasn't able to make a single sideband contact and it was only after dinner that I really started like going after it. Digital modes, no problem. Single sideband, um, I did have like one broken contact where they got KI, no six, NAZ. Couldn't complete it though. Uh, so what do I think of this antenna? You should definitely try this. It's actually really fun to try. Only do it though if there's no wind, because as the wind's kicking around, it screws with the antenna, it's a, it's a big problem. If you had a still day, I think this would work pretty well. And then the flip side of that is a kite. I'm, I'm interested to try a kite now. I appreciate that to, to hoist a wire, you're gonna need the right type of kite, and they do make kites specifically for amateur radio. So yeah, uh, try it. I think this is a lot of fun to do. This took a really long time to put this video all together and get it done because I had problems with the balloons and helium and the difficulty of all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know, consider giving me a thumbs up for it. I appreciate it. I am Josh KI6NAZ. Thanks for watching the Ham Radio Crash Course, and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.